Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I ran across this video, it was going viral on Instagram, and it's basically the dark side of pretty privilege. And so, one of the things that we always talk about when it comes to pretty privilege is like the halo effect. And the halo effect is basically like when you're deemed attractive or pretty, um, people give you all types of benefit of the doubt. They automatically give you all types of positive um, attributes. They assume that just because you're attractive, you're very smart, you're nice, you're caring, you're giving, and things like that. And that's not always the case just based off of somebody's looks, right? And so this girl was going viral for this video and I really enjoyed it. Like I, I never looked at it like that. Um, let me see, if, where's the video here? If I have, okay, here it is. And she's basically talking about um, things that pretty girls go through. So we're gonna watch this together and let me know what you guys think about this. The dark side of pretty privilege. Okay. You know, people love bringing up pretty privilege, but can we talk about pretty discrimination? Because that's a thing. People will look at you, take one glance, and automatically not like you, automatically have a problem with you, automatically give you attitude, automatically want to fight you, automatically assume that you would steal their man automatically write you off as a gold digger or a B-I-T-C-H. Automatically make rumors about you. And all you're thinking is, wow, you gave me a chance. I'm a really nice person. All right, so that video has gone viral all over Instagram the other day. And I thought it was very interesting because again, a lot of people equate, you know, being pretty or having pretty privilege is some type of blessing. You know, even the fact that y'all are putting tiny violins, y'all don't want to hear it, you know, but I think that what she's saying is true. Um, and I'm not going to say like necessarily for me or anything like that, but you know, you'll have people who'll see somebody who's attractive and they'll be like, oh, she thinks she's all that, or she's stuck up, or who does she sleep with to get her position? You know, like people do judge. It's no different from people judging people who are not as classically attractive, right? And sometimes if people feel like somebody's not attractive, they'll deem them untrustworthy or creepy or weird. You know, we've all seen that meme where if it's a fine guy with a nice body and he says hi to a female, it's, you know, oh, hey, you know, how you doing? And then if it's a fat guy or, you know, a really unattractive guy, then the woman's like, security, security, help. <laughs> But all he said was hi. So people do judge people based on looks, you know what I'm saying, based on that. But she's calling it pretty discrimination, you know? So do you guys feel like things like that exist? Like there's also that dark side to pretty privilege where people will assume that, you know, they have the right to, you know, be mean or abusive towards you just because you're pretty or girls feel a certain way towards you because when you step out, you may get drinks or, you know, guys wanted to do stuff for you or they use you as the wing woman. So a lot of people are saying, yes, they agree. It does exist. Ben, Kim Star says, been through it. Mm-hmm. Okay, young, young Neek said, this is real. I've had countless people from young women to women in their 70s tell me that they thought I was stuck up once they finally met me and realized I was cool. Yes, yes, it is like that. Or like if you're quiet, like if you just, you're just quietly living your life, you're just quiet. You know, maybe you're at a party, you know, you just kind of peep the scene and people automatically would think, oh, you're being bougie, you're being funny acting. It's just like, no, I'm trying to feel the energy of the room. Like give me 30 minutes, please, you know? So it really does. I, I think a lot of it is, you know, Try not to judge a book by its cover. 
you know, regardless of where you are on the pretty or average spectrum, spectrum you know getting to know people for who they are but i just thought that was really interesting that she brought that up because sometimes you don't think about that and sometimes you know as women unfortunately we tend to be in competition with each other and if we would kind of put some of the competition away we'd realize that the other person is actually cool and that you actually have a lot more in common with them than not you know so i just really like the fact that she brought that up because i always like to see different sides of the spectrum because, you know, a lot of times you'll see people online crying about, oh, you know, I'm not attractive or oh, I'm fat. Woe is me, fat shaming. You know, it's always some type of shaming. But I never saw that from, like, that perspective. So I like how she put that out there. Venice said, I get those assumptions, but I'm average looking. Pretty fa. 3000 says, been going through this most of my life up until even at my big age of 42. Sandra says, I went through this as well. Guys used to tell me they thought I was conceited. Quiet Storm says, yes, so they call you Beyonce a shade. Oh, okay. Wow. Kayana Chrissy says, this has made me not even want to be bothered with new people because they automatically judge. I've had a lot of people tell me that I'm down to earth. It's rare because I'm pretty. Yeah. Wow. So this goes on a lot. The chat is flying. Okay, girls. The girls are in there telling they, they like story, honey. Okay. They say they are pretty and they are tired of y'all, you know what I'm saying, judging them. They are nice people with good hearts, honey. Not all pretty people are narcissistic and mean. So, yeah, no, I think these are really good conversations to have because, you know, unfortunately, sometimes as women, we judge. And even with pretty boys, let's not forget the pretty boys, honey. You know, people will put pretty boys in a box and, you know, oh, he's soft or he's a punk. Some of them pretty boys will whoop your ass. Yeah, stop judging them pretty boys. Them pretty boys, they've had to fight all, all their life. They had to fight, okay, to show that they were tough. <laughs> so it's a real thing, you know, so... Um, and, and I even, when I was doing some research on that, they were saying that sometimes people who are very attractive, they tend to be a lot lonelier because sometimes people don't want to be around them because it's like, you're too cute. I don't want to go out with you to the club and everybody's going to be in your face and I'm going to just be in the fucking shadows. So sometimes, you know, they find themselves just doing things on their own because other girls don't want to hang with them or other guys feel insecure, you know, things like that. So yeah, yeah it goes for guys too. Brooklyn said it's very lonely. Not everybody in the chat want to act like they look like Beyonce, child. Yes, it's lonely. I, too, suffer from pretty privilege. Don't be in that chat line. <laughs> now the whole chat is just a 10. <laughs> Shorty right there is a 10. What? A 10? <laughs> oh, y'all are a mess. So the whole chat look like Beyonce, huh? Even the guys, yeah, I be going through that too. I'm gonna need some of y'all to uh, DM me y'all's pictures. <laughs> it went from about 10 people to not everybody. Oh yeah, I too go through this. Oh yeah, I can't go to the club without everybody hounding me. Oh, I get free drinks every time I turn around. Okay, so just everybody in the street. But I do got some beautiful tea sippers. Though. I'm not gonna front. I got some pretty ass tea sippers, men and women. Cause y'all be coming to my events. I be like, okay, all right. So, yeah, the tea sippers, we step out, honey, okay? I don't have a bunch of, you know, oogly moogly, angry, bitter fans, okay? A lot of my fans have, you know, good jobs, take care of themselves, well-groomed, smell good. Because I'm telling y'all, when I did, when I rented out the whole club, crew nightclub, them tea sippers, they came, they was dressed to impress, body on point, titties on fleek, okay? Y'all was looking good. So, I know my tea sippers is cute, honey. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought it was a really very interesting, you know, uh, conversation that was being had on Instagram. So I just want, I guess, you know, for us to take this in the new year into 2024 to not judge people as much, you know, just based on superficial things as their looks. And I think that's kind of why um, <laughs> Mr. Biles, you know, the shade was kind of getting even more of the backlash because he was very handsome, you know? So sometimes it's easier to be angry at more attractive people. Whereas if he looked like, child, just some, you know, 
It's just some hood booger child. You know what I'm saying? Insert whatever face you want to insert there. If he just looked plain, didn't look like nothing, nobody would have cared. They would have been like, sir, shut up and moved on. But I think because he is a very, you know, handsome man, it made a lot of people mad. You know, like, oh, he's, he's, he, he thinks he's all that and... You know, and he might be just very, very down to earth. But sometimes, you know, if people are more attractive, people don't want to give them the benefit of the doubt. They're automatically, they're a narcissist. And that might not be what they're intending to put out there. So let's go on to 2024, not being as judgmental um, towards people just based off of their looks. You know, just really trying to get to know, you know, new people. Because that new person that you're thinking, oh, they think they're all that or, mm. That might end up being like your new best friend. You just never know. So I just think that we just need to try and just give each other a fair shake. You know what I'm saying? Give them pretty boys a fair shake. Stop trying to beat them up after the club. Stop bumping into them and, you know what I'm saying, shoulder bumping them and shit in the club. Be nice to little pretty boys, okay? You know, go up and just, you know, give them a dap, okay? Be nice to little pretty girls. Oh, your outfit is cute. Oh, thank you. You know what I mean? It might just, you know, spark up a conversation. That's all I'm saying. We're going to try some new things in the new year. Let's try and get to know what's in here and not just judge, you know, the external. You know what I mean? So. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.